Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and masked up both of the lower cheeks now. Make sure that there's no gaps in it. Also as well, once you mask, when you're masking up um, at the cheeks, uh, the grey damage that you've already masked out for the, the lower cheeks, make sure a little bit of it showing, showing through on the black side. So that, uh, that way, when you do spray the black and take the tape off, you haven't got grey, green, then black. It's just the grey straight into the black. Right, so I've already mixed up my paint. Again, using the nice cheap airbrush we have. Uh, this is Black 33. Um, a little tip as well. Don't throw this black out. Don't wash this pot. I keep, I'll keep this pot now until both helmets are finished. So what we'll do is we'll use this same paint to weather the helmet. That, though, we'll do later on. So first of all, you want to make sure... Uh, you've got a nice flow coming through the brush, which I have, as you can see, on my hand. Um, same as last time, uh, don't don't start the spray on the area that you're spraying. Spray it off key, bring it on, then stop. So this is where we're going to be stopping. Same for this area. And this nice smooth motion, so we'll go through it now. Uh, nice, make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Nice smooth motions. Make sure you get a good coverage, nice even coverage. And there you go. Do the same then for the other side. Again, I'm not starting the spray on the actual area we're painting. I'm starting about here. I'm hending here. Same same principle for here. Start here. And the spray here, okay? So we'll start from this side and we'll work our way around, okay? So nice smooth motion, make sure the tape's down. <laughs> nice smooth motions. Nice even coat. Just like that, you bring it round. And there's your nice even coat. Now I, I, I don't go heavy with the first coat, it's, it's what I like to call uh, a biting coat. Uh, it, nice, do it nice and lightly, um, it won't take long to dry, but that will also give it a, uh, the next coat, uh, will be able to, to stick to the, to the, uh, the piece a lot better. Um, so nice light coats will get it done, I can already see this is starting to dry. So I'll go ahead and put one more coat on it, and then uh, and if we've got time we'll cut to, uh, to removing the taint. So last time for the recap, I'll also do another recap as well when we're painting the uh, the mandible area. Okay, so nice and slow. Bring it up. Nice even coat, so good coverage. And this black does look really nice once it's dried. There you go. That's one more coat now on that, and should be uh, should be ready. You can also go the other way if you wanted to. If you're going to be airbrushing. You can go. You can go that way if you wanted to as well. Whatever you feel comfortable with. I like to stick with a nice short burst, and you get a nice even coverage. So I'll go ahead now. Put one more coat on. You can already see how nice it's looking. There you go. And uh, hopefully, we'll have our back panels done. Alright guys, so, uh, where we left off, we saw me painting up the black of the upper mandibles. I've let this dry now for about an hour. It's it's actually pretty well dried, uh, probably left it a bit too late. Um, we're going to start uh, unmasking the helmet now. Um, I always start with the bag areas. So, uh, with this one, we've only taped up the front, so it's just a matter of a little bit of a pull and off your hands. This is the good bit, this is, this is the revealing part, you know. Okay, so remove the bag at the back of the helmet now. To reveal our lovely back panels that we had painted up. Like so. Again. Okay, we're also going to remove our tape. Quite a bit of uh, yellow tape on this, I did. Got my scalpel handy as well, just in case we need it. Okay. 
Okay. Doesn't want to come off. There we go. So pull that off. You can finally see now what the back of the helmet looks like with uh, the back panels and the dome painted. Okay, now move on to the front of the helmet. Try to minimize uh, the tape touching the black as it is freshly painted, even though it may seem dry. If, if uh, tape does touch it, it, you know, it's quite a high risk of it uh, pulling some paint that. I can also show you now as well the, uh, the method that I use to uh, tape up the outer edge of this arc. Okay, if you can see this, can you see it on? Bring the helmet in closer. You can see that there's individual squares that I've cut out uh, that are overlapped to follow the arc uh, of the mandible area, but because uh, to, to do this with one piece of tape is absolutely impossible without getting um, seams and stuff in, so this is this is the only way that I, I know how to do it, I don't know if there's an easier way, but that's the way I've always done it. Move this tape here now, it might pull up some of the masking of the one, don't have to worry too much about that. And the ear, there we go. Okay, and then uh, go ahead and remove the first layer now, you can see how nice, the, um, while I remove this tape now it will pull up the masking fluid, don't get scared, it's ripping up the tape, uh, ripping up the paint, it's meant to do this, okay, so I'll show you now, I'll slowly start to tear up the tape we left behind, there's our nice little Area. Now we can go ahead now. Start working off this section. So I'll try to pull it off. Don't want to pull off the yellow tape at the moment. Take it nice and slow. Now we can start working on the yellow tape. So hopefully now, fingers crossed, uh, we should have a nice arch when I pull this off. There we go. There is the lower cheek, the upper and lower cheeks done. Get this tape off my hand, just stuck to my glove. Okay. Go ahead now and do the other side. Uh, when you're airbrushing, when you're airbrushing the black um, cheeks, I forgot to mention, make sure you airbrush these two little sections here. Like I said before, it's just the small little details that count on these Boba Fett helmets. And uh, it's not very nice to have uh, white blank sections underneath the helmet. There we go, pull this bit off. There we go. Let's see how nice line we got. Yeah. I'm not too bothered about pulling all the tape up yet, um, the mask and fluid up yet. We just want to get it all, all the tape off. And once we got that done, then we can concentrate that on getting the, the masking fluid up. Okay, this is the last bit of tape for this bit. Let's pull this off. There's two, let's see there was two there. Quite a hurry up, it's only like, only like 15 minutes now for uh, these videos. I need to hurry up. Uh, remove this section now, final one. Like so. We just simply pull off the detail tape. And there we have it. That is our black and green done. Obviously then you go ahead and you would uh, peel off the masking fluid that we already masked out earlier. So, there's a couple more bits I need to do, but you get the point of that. And uh, there you have it. That's uh, 
That's the lower and upper cheek stand. Next video now, we'll get into uh, I'll do a little brief another overview of um, wire woolen, the dome and everything, and then uh, we'll get into masking out the the, uh, the kill strike, which is always fun to do. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you next video.